Hi, welcome to my playhouse. And today I'm starting a project with my solar panels. It's, it, I'm not really starting it, I'm just continuing it. And I'm walking around with my fingers in a glass and I'm gonna go right back to that because I fucked up. I burned myself and I have been really stupid. But I'll show you what I'm doing before I admit how stupid I've been. So let's go see some stuff. Well, this video is a continuing of something that is happening in the basement, or was happening in the basement, still is, and it's in here in the creepy basement, and it's a bit of a mess right now because I have been putting in boxes of wood, but down here I am building a battery bank uh, in here, and there are some pots in the way right now, and it's a bit messy. But there is really no reason to have a battery bank here if there is no power. So I need to get the power from the solar panels down here. And I have a hole up here where some cable from my radiators go. And I, wanna, I want the power from the solar panels to come through there under the floor. But let's go see some more. But I want the power to go in there. And I'll put my fingers back in the water. You really need your hand a lot to go around filming. So camera in one hand and a glass of water in the other one. So let's go out and see what I'm doing. Just put the water. Out here in the garage. Oh, yeah. Up here are the solar panels. And these boxes there is a junction box. There are a junction box for each of, I think there's five solar panels on each of those. And they go in here in the garage, meet up here. This is pretty high voltage DC, it's about 60, 62 volts. So I want that. Right now they're going into these inverters. And they're really dusty and lighting up red right now because I'm not using them right now. When I was putting down the tiles here, I removed the cable that went into the house. And I want a new cable. And I want it to be this this is not the cable, this is just something to bring the cable into the house. I've been doing that off camera. I've been drilling a hole in here, down there, for this blue cable to go in. Let's see, oh, let's see that on the outside. There is the blue cable that is leaving the garage. And the plan is that it should go over this way and into the corner of the house here. I'll just move the garbage cans out of the way. And I want it to go in at this corner somewhere. I'm gonna dig down a little bit and have the blue cable go in from from over here, dig a trench over here and go into this corner of the house. But to not do too much damage and drill in the wrong place, I need to know where to put it. So I am making a hole in the floor of my living room, this corner over here. I'm gonna make a couple of floorboards, uh, some pieces that can be taken out to inspect that. And I was doing that um, using my trusty little Ryobi One Plus thing here. I'll just reconstruct what was happening. My stupidness. Okay, this was one, I was not using that one. I was using this one, that had a battery on it too, like this. I was cutting across the boards here 
to make this line. Uh, actually, I just needed it to go down deep enough to make a hole for the jigsaw to go into. And it began to say a funny noise and I thought, oh, the blade is loose. Uh, so I took it up and I, I very firmly took it and tried to see if the blade was loose. And it said, and I thought, what is that? And then, ah, it was like very, very hot. And the sound that it had made was from my fingers getting burned. So let's just see my fingers here. Yeah, you can see the burn marks. You can even see the teeth of the Ryopi blade right there. You can you can recognize that. You can see the teeth. And that's about. So that was rather stupid. So now I'm walking around with a glass on my hand with water and I exchange the water every 5-10 minutes but I'm still trying to do this getting a couple of floorboards up so that I can actually I wanted to drill a hole out so that I can on the outside do the big drilling so that I don't make as much of a mess in here right now I need to take a break to cool down my fingers well so I got a bit further uh, it's the next day I didn't really do very much more yesterday uh, because of my fingers, they hurt their entire day. Oh, this one is not as bad, although you can see this saw marks. Saw teeth of the Ryobi is on my finger because I burned them. But let's open this up. And right under my living room floor is directly down to the ground. A bit spooky. And over in this corner there is a big rock. And this is the stud that the floor is laying upon. So I don't want to drill through that one. That will be a lot of work. I don't know how big that is, but it's probably big. So if I had just started drilling from the outside, I would probably have drilled into that. So instead I'll go just uh, on probably on this side of it. Yeah, I think that would be the easiest thing to do. Just take the camera off and see what we got. We can go in here. I can actually use the camera to see where to go. Oh, I have an electric wire. Yeah, I did that one one time back. So I don't want to drill into that. Let's see what's, what else is under there. Hmm. Some electrics over there. And some boards that I did. I did the radiator in here too some time back. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'll have a look at this and see if I can drill a hole to the outside. Okay, I've been removing some dirt down here. I want to dig from about in here as far in the corner that I can. I don't really want to take this apart, but I'm trying to dig from around here and in and I'm gonna in on the inside I'm gonna go from here and to about there so I have to go on an angle into the house I'm gonna be trying to do that and I have the have the drill laying around over here it's right there I'm gonna see if I can get through with this dude it's a bit dangerous, it hasn't really got a safety thing, so if it gets stuck, it will try to turn me around, and that really hurts. So I gotta go get some gloves somewhere. Those will probably do. Had to take out some more dirt, but I'm through. This is, this is what the drill is at. Look at all the fine dust right there coming out of the wall. Uh, let's go into the inside. And down here in the hole, inside, you can see the tip of the drill bit. Right there. So that's pretty perfect. So I am I'm drilling down here. Can we see anything? No. It's just a hole. But I have a little invention here. This is a normal drill. And I have put a 
diamond drill on it. And this is this is piece of plex hose. I have a 10 millimeter screw in here to hold the plex hole, and it, it's just it, it's pretty tight. But if this one, if the drill gets stuck in there, this will turn, or this will turn. Uh, preferably, this will turn because I can see when this is turning. This one, not so good. This one is it's a bit tighter than this one, so preferable it will turn around down here and I can see that it's stuck and I can stop the drill and sometimes I have to drive it backwards and stuff like that. So let's let's just see the drill go in. I have already been drilling for a while so it goes in quite a bit. Okay, I'm here, hi, and the drill goes in here. And I'm in this far. Now this one has gotten too short and I've just been over cutting a new one so I'm gonna be putting this one on instead to lengthen it how much is that 10 centimeters and that should be enough to bring this one through into the living room and to do that I'll put the drill in reverse that. hold on to this not too tight no, just like that. Here I have the big screw. I'm gonna be putting it back it forward. Uh, I'm gonna put it in this one, it's the least straight one. This one just pops out like that. I do that. I've never gone this long before, but see what happens. So here's the drill. It's all the way through, which I think means that I'm through with my drill. So let's go in here and see if that's true. Hopefully it's very visible. And there is my drill. Well, that didn't really take as long as I had expected, but that's a good thing. This is tedious work. So just to be sure, I put the blue hose in here. That's that's, it's not that piece of hose, but it's similar to what I'm hoping to, to put into the basement. And it sticks out right here. So that's pretty cool. So I just need a longer piece now. That's a little further on that project so that I can get use of my solar panels again. And uh, be producing some, some power for my whatever data center <laughs> up here. And um, I only ran into one small problem, and that is I'm not able to get this drill bit out again. I put it in and I drilled the hole, and now this drill bit is stuck inside the drill. I've been trying with some VD40 to spray that in there, but it, it hasn't budged. I think it might be totally broken inside the drill, which is a shame. It's an okay drill bit. Cheap tools. Yeah, if you know how to get a drill bit out of a drill like that, do leave me a comment below so that I can get my drill bit out of my drill. 
Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again doing other stupid, funny, weird things. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.